There are only seven Canadians who have won an NBA title. And right now in the NBA Finals, there are two Canadians playing for the Miami Heat. One of them is from Milton, Ontario, and his name is Kyle Alexander. He's a rookie who only six years ago picked up a basketball to play competitively for the first time. Not a lot of kids from Canada can say that they've done that. And then not a lot of kids can say that they've started at the age of 16 and somehow found the way onto the an NBA floor their rookie year. Kyle Alexander is now in for the first time for the Miami Heat. Just over a month after stepping on the court in his first NBA game, Alexander was celebrating with his team who just booked their ticket to the NBA Finals. For me to start my career and see what it takes to go into winning an NBA Conference Championship and then going to the NBA Finals. Um, and every every team does it differently, but to see this, this Heat culture and to see, like, the true passion that goes into it and the hard work, um, it's awesome to be able to be here this early in my career and then be able to apply this later as I continue to grow as a basketball player. Kyle isn't the only basketball star in his family. His sister Kayla has played in the WNBA for the last seven years. Her latest season was with the Minnesota Lynx, who were playing just over an hour and a half away from where he was playing in her own bubble with the WNBA. Her experience is obviously a little different than mine, even though she's only about an hour and a half away from me. but. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, she was enjoying it, and she's always been an incredible role model. Uh, the model, the model child, sibling, always, you know, parents, why can't you be more like your sister? You know, it's just always, she's always just been the perfect person, you know, so uh, she'll never admit it, but she's just a great human being, honestly, all the way out. Still ahead on City News, why Kyle and fellow Canadian NBA star Jamal Murray stayed in this motel that's featured in Schitt's Creek for more than two years. Canadian Kyle Alexander and his team, the Miami Heat, are hoping to beat the Los Angeles Lakers in the NBA Finals. Alexander would become just the eighth Canadian to win an NBA title. His journey to the NBA has been unique. It included a two-year stay at this motel that's featured in the Emmy Award-winning show, Schitt's Creek. Isn't that your friend? Yeah, I don't know what he's doing here. I literally told him to never come back here while you people were home. When I was there with Jamal, actually, um, and Thon, but Thon didn't stay there, though. Uh, he was too big time for us, but no, I'm joking. Murray, 450! Jamal Murray, Thon Maker, and Kyle Alexander all went to the Orangeville Prep School, which at one point had students living in the now famous motel. We stayed at the where they filmed Shit's Creek. That's where we literally stayed. Like, I'm pretty sure, because I've watched the first four seasons of the show, I think it's incredible, um, amazing acting. But I think that literally the mom's and dad's room, that's where, because Jamal was my roommate, I think that's where we are actual room was so yeah no we lived there for two years um <laughs> i'm not gonna lie like i mean we're, we're we're kids you know so obviously we complain in the moment but we always talk about it now like we wouldn't change a thing like we really think those were the best two years of our lives just being out there being kids Kyle Alexander is now in for the well he no longer has to stay in that motel he's been in a bubble in disney world for more than 90 days and made sure he had something to keep him occupied his keyboard. I got it shipped to me after like um, three weeks of being here, but honestly, I haven't had the time to play it. Just between the pull. work, the work. <laughs> I know I haven't even opened it, taken up the box. But during quarantine, I definitely did. I, I bought the piano, and I was trying to, you know, get get those skills going. Um, I learned a little bit. I was teaching myself some songs, but um, now that we're here, you know, I just been really locked in on on the basketball and learning as much as I can. And when I get back to my room, you know, I'm usually watching film or something. So. Just, just not a lot of time to, to get my John Legend on, unfortunately. Is that who you were trying to learn after? Man, no, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you got to start Legend's a little guy. lower, like Mary had a little lamb or something. Nah, we went straight to all of me. That's what I went straight <laughs> to that one. <laughs> yeah, Kyle's trying to teach himself how to play John Legend's iconic song on piano, having never taken lessons before. But hey, given his journey to the NBA, I wouldn't put him past him that he's going to master the song. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.